am i audible and the slides are visible to everyone yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, ma yes, ma okay great today's uh, finance session is a very hot topic which has been discussed a lot in uh, ahead days even in the budget it was discussed right and most of the people of this generation are discussing about it the cryptocurrency we'll keep, try to acquire we'll grasp some knowledge about what is cryptocurrency and what is the major role it's playing and how it's what are the risks advantages and how we have to look towards it in near coming future before that uh, i hope you all might not be knowing me smi sangeeta varma i've done my mphil in management at mb in banking and finance in this slide you can see my work experiences in different industry and but currently i'm working with uh, a multinational import and export company that is kdi organization and it's my seventh year along with that i'm working with learnovit as a freelancer So shall we begin? I hope green signal from everyone. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so, guys, uh, let's understand what is cryptocurrency. You know, cryptocurrency is a type of digital money. You can see a digital asset. It is with an encryption that makes it secure. Users for of the currency remain. unknown to everyone we might not be knowing each other it means cryptocurrency is a digital currency designed to work as a medium of exchange through a computer network that is not reliant on any central authority such as a government or bank to uphold or maintain it so in most of the countries cryptocurrency is not legalized cryptocurrency does not exist in physical form means it's not in a paper form and it is typically not issued by a central authority it's a virtual it's like a virtual asset with us virtual money with us but not actually we cannot feel it that's it and it is uses decentralized control system in order to oppose a central bank digital currency you might have noticed in uh, the budget uh, finance minister mrs uh, nirmala sitaraman was talking about digital currency right she was talking completely about digital currency but most of the people understood that it she's talking about cryptocurrency it's not that she was talking about digital currency cryptocurrency is a tradable digit asset or digital form of money built on blockchain technology that only exists online is completely an online trading one it uses encryption to authentic and protect transaction with their names currently you can see that thousands of our citizens in india in other countries where even it's not legalized people are investing in it and what they are doing is like they are trying to turn out some of their you can say black owned money in a white owned in a way that they are investing in a cryptocurrency so and in thousands of like different cryptocurrencies in the world the major one is bitcoin mostly people know about bitcoin cryptocurrency and this is the first one okay bitcoin is the first released and on open source software in 2009 and it is the first decentralized cryptocurrency so mostly hyped one is bitcoin there are many of them so you can understand that cryptocurrency is a digital money created from code free of all governmental oversight the cryptocurrency economy is monitored by a peer to peer because code is given to 
every investor whoever invested in cryptocurrency a code is provided to them is an encrypted string of data or a hash encoded to signify unit of currency so and what are the different terms to be known in cryptocurrency first one is cryptocurrency itself which is encrypted in a digital currency format in order to with the help processed with the help of computer crypto jacking that is another term it's a like uh, uh, a malicious form of cryptomizing or cryptocurrency theft right and the third one is crypto mining computer processing cycle of exchange of money blockchain a chain with by which digital crypto is transactions are hold and they are been transmitted so when you know about cryptocurrency and when anyone talks that you have to invest in cryptocurrency you'll get higher rate of returns and all then four terms you should be knowing about it currency itself that is cryptocurrency you should understand that it's not the actual sorry someone why slides are not visible visible to everyone slides are not visible ma'am it is visible mukund uh, what do you want to say please tell me again you want to enlarge the slides uh, yes ma'am it's not okay. very clear okay okay i'll do that then just give me a second by then we let's even i'll post the slide for you in another one you mean the enlargement version of the slides right ma'am you can press right. control f5 actually i can do that but my laptop is having a little bit of problem okay. thank you for telling it so now is it visible mukund yes ma'am now it's clear okay so the terms which are used in cryptos are like you can you should be knowing cryptocurrency it's you should understand that it's not the paper currency it's just a digital asset or digital form of the currency then crypto jacking a form of crypto mining or cryptocurrency theft there might it's very risky one that is why it says that it can be hacked if once your code is lost it's hacked because that code is only identity of yours in crypto currency format crypto mining computer processing cycle are exchange for money and the blockchain it's like uh, you can say that the transactions completely digital you should keep your eye on every movement of financial declaration of cryptocurrency it's not that uh, once you invested and you forgot it it can never be like that and then what are the terms which you should be knowing the terms which you should be knowing are those four and what are the icons you should be aware of one is blockchain technology monero bitcoin itself cryptocurrency zcash sending money online time lapse and cryptographic hash functions so you should be knowing that also when someone says you that please invest in cryptocurrency or anything like that you should be aware of those functions and i 
if i am not wrong many of you are thinking also that we'll invest in a cryptocurrency some of them might be thinking of uh, making it an a side investment though they are studying do try your luck in this but let's understand first what are the different risks which it holds up now what are the different types of cryptocurrencies mostly we are understood that it's actually a just a digital format asset and it's categorized in two one is token another is coin tokens are like tokens are created and operated on the basis of existing blockchain that is example is ethereum blockchain and coins on their own blockchain that are ethereum blockchain and bitcoin blockchain so coins are bitcoin blockchain and ethereum blockchain whereas tokens are completely ethereum blockchain and those coins do not take any sort of uh, risk averted things they are just risk taker ones and but tokens they comes with the security token that is money is invested in a company in the expectation of a profit equity tokens invested money expresses the right to a unit or share payment tokens are used to pay for goods or services utility tokens enables access to a product or service example on some platforms so these are the two and now when we talk about crypto completely crypto we talks about those bitcoin blockchain points those are forms with the in the form of digital currency digital assets completely and over here also you can see that there are four ones that is a bitcoin completely stored value of cryptocurrencies utility tokens security token now digital currency we being a part of asian's highest growing economy and financial market growing india our finance minister is mostly focusing on digital currency where she even mentioned that rbi will make it own digital currency where the currency whichever is invested or bought is not going to get exported to other foreign countries it will be completely you can say make in india format so she is talking about digital currency enlargement digital currency investment and digital currency token offs she is trying to say that digital currency will be completely authorized by a, a bank or a central authority where even a banks or government will be little liable for the risk averter but in crypto what happens government is not authorizing it and the bank is not authorizing it so if a losses are there it might be the thing that it you have to bear yourself but when it comes with the digital currency when bank is involved the central government is involved what happens you over there won a trust of your citizens and you become a little bit of a uh, security provider type where you, you know that yes it's legal and it's easy to access easy to use and we can invest it being a proper and legal citizens of the particular country you know that uh, you might be knowing that even china is doing that us is doing that and mostly in swiss in switzerland this cryptocurrency used in an ominous number most of the people invest in that now how these like different types of cryptocurrency comes with sorry guys just taking time because i'm my laptop is giving some problem here i hope you could understand it's a technology machine after all so what are the different types of cryptocurrencies 
its first one is bitcoin mostly people try to invest in bitcoin only bitcoin and then it comes litecoin ripple dash ethereum and ethereum classic in the slides you can see that there are different Now over here you can see the percentage of cryptocurrencies values it might not be clear to you at the right time but you can see it that it's completely trying to denote you how cryptocurrencies are sharing the part of the economic factors in it what it is doing is like mostly 93 to 91%, 84%, 63%. It's like how a person tries or financial market is taking out the cryptocurrencies in foreign countries. Then metrics by coin is always calculated with the metric coins like market valuations and daily volumes. It's always mostly shows you the highest peak. It uh, barely you can see that uh, the return it's showing in a profit way that if you are investing certain amount it's in like five times double of it it's a, just a way of attracting towards yourself if any thing happens the market gets collapse and when it's crypto it means it's not legalized what happens you lose your investment it might be that even you do not have your uh, invested amount also sometimes as a return and over there you cannot shout about it you cannot talk about it you cannot cry about it that you lost something in or your financial by investing in cryptocurrency because over there no banks no central authority no government is authorized for it right so whenever cryptocurrency comes it should be that once it gets legalized properly and then you invest and you earn the profit then it's with with mean situation but when it's not you will be most of the time most of the time it will be win loss situation if you are winning you're happy if you're losing you cannot cry sometimes like your bulk amount goes in it can i go to the next slide was it understood to you a basic concept about types no okay so i have just tried uh, to show it altcoins and tokens which i have already talked to you in earlier and there are certain examples you can see the logo wise and what are the advantages of uh, cryptocurrency it's like uh, you can say why people say that use cryptocurrency why use crypto they say that it's fast safe and cheap safe fast it is it uh, shows you the profit ratio in a very higher amount in a very shorter period of time right safe until and unless your code is not lost okay then only it is safe and it's they say that is cheap yeah like $5 $10 $20 $100 multiplied by five times in a certain period of time so they say it cheap are you getting three words difference you understood if your code is lost if your digital tracking number is lost it's not safe then okay and profit zone is always fast over here then it comes ease of use and highly portable yeah, wherever you are it's like it's virtual right so if by the time you have uh, the access of internet while you are traveling you are sitting you can do it so ease of use and highly portable untouchable that is pseudo anonymous transactions then transparent and neutral where it is legalized in the countries where cryptocurrency is legalized over there is transparent and neutral decentralized nature you can scatter out your investment in different types of cryptocurrencies then active involvement of users yes a person who thinks that i'll just uh, invest one or two hours in uh, this trading 
financial market trading will never be successful trader the person who ever does it has to have a very active involvement how the ratios are fluctuating what is the graph of achievement how when it will be decline when it will be higher that has to be kept in mind and a person need to have a very pick up in that then fewer risk for merchants means merchant means those who are making other people to play becoming a mediator in the middle ones because their money is not invested only their what is invested their time is invested over there they keep an eye on every fluctuations of crypto reading freedom to transact it's like with the online way so wherever you are sitting wherever you are you can transact and you can do it low inflation and collapse risk over here also you should understand where it is possible collapse risk where is it is possible where it is legalized till the time is not legalized you cannot say that it's a risk averted it's a risk challenges at collapsing ones now you have to understand in the same way that easy movable payment you can scan the and pay low transaction fees your identity is private because you are be provided as a reference code number and person might not be knowing you by the name but the person is only knowing you with the help of your identity private private identity number even that not person okay it's computer knowing you then faster transactions globally it is mostly used but in certain part of the world and the countries it's not legalized and yes it is highly secure where it is highly secure when your uh, where the the chances of hackers is not there by the time you do not lose your uh, reference code number so when we understand it what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages of crypto advantages are high potential return yes is very high potential returns if you are keeping a proper active involvement in that so high potential return this advantage high volatile volatility large potential losses not all cryptocurrencies are the same you should always think that all the cryptocurrencies are not high risk zone not low risk zone there might be mixtures also so whenever you choose to invest in cryptocurrency you should be knowing the potential return high volatility and potential losers type cryptocurrencies advantage diversification is possible in cryptocurrencies because there are numerous numbers of cryptocurrencies policies and you can invest your money in different and you can earn the profit in a way then positive correlation with equities and gold not all cryptocurrencies are the same again it is saying diversification is not in all cryptocurrencies positive correlation with equities and gold wherever in the countries it is legalized it deals in a very equal legislation of correlation with equities and gold limited supply of individual cryptos unlimited supply of cryptocurrencies in general protection against currency debasement and inflations it's like you are investing digitally you are investing and it's protected because the dollar prices can be up and down the commodity prices can be up and down most of the time when it comes with the currency you it's not that uh, in a day your dollar 1 dollar turns out to be like that like you know that 1 dollar is 100 rupees 98 rupees 7 times 50 rupees 60 rupees it's like that but when it comes with the cryptocurrencies no if you got the coin of cryptocurrency coin of 50 you will at least will get 50 that's over there then what is the disadvantage poor store of value due to volatility and restricted users is very is very very difficult to protect the data and store the data as in because the data are always mostly in huge gambes ones 
then growing acceptance and uses yes people are are trying to understand and the economy the countries are trying to adapt to the changes as per the future investment uh, cycle they are seeing it out and the acceptance growing is increasing unregulated and exposed to encryption's behavior what do you understand over here it's like once your private identity number is lost your uh, uh, code is lost your password is uh, missing out it becomes out of that it becomes difficult to uh, know that who has done it it's like uh, it becomes hard to catch a person who does the theft of cryptocurrencies by using your reference number or code number till here clear guys anything to ask Yeah. If you are not able, like if your voice is not audible, you can even write in a message box if there is, if there is any query. Okay, can I move to the next slide? Yes, ma'am. Now, yes, ma in the same of uh, coming out with the cryptocurrency, digital currency, digital assets. Now, let's understand. what is flat and what is cryptocurrency if we go with this uh, cryptocurrency in a very distinct way we can understand what is cryptocurrency and what is actually conventional traditional way of dealing of the with the currencies how we are used utilizing it crypto is completely a digital mediations of money exchanger whereas this flat is a physical way of exchanging money right you know do dollar currency notes indian currency notes japanese currency note right so that's a physical appearance a way of exchanging the money and crypto is a digital medium of exchanging the money and when it comes with the presentation presented by private and public piece of code as i said it's not you will not feel the currency in your hand when it is crypto you will have what you'll have a private and public code number which code will denote that yes you are the uh, you are holding out with the cryptocurrency when it comes with the flat that is conventional and traditional way it comes in the form of coins or paper money crypto limited supply and each cryptocurrency has a set of combination whereas flat conventional one is unlimited supply as per the demand of the citizens of the countries and the governments right crypto is created with the help of computers with the help of computers completely software developed one mistake in the software once it hacks it's gone like that but when it comes with the flat conventional way is issued by the government authority decentralized means no one takes the authority of that virtual asset or virtual money it's like it is not controlled way or by any of the country or entity even the banks do not take the responsible now when it's flat and conventional it is completely centralized because over there banks government authorities law everything protects it and when it comes cryptocurrency the value is not determined by supply and demand cryptocurrency's value of is never been determined with the help of supply and chain so over there supply chain management is not properly in a way of controlling or the value and when it comes to the flat conventional one the value of the flat currency is determined by markets regulations right so in a cryptocurrency you can understand that 
no one takes the responsibility if there is no legal entity takes the way of accepting it no supply and demand value completely created by computers is if there are good hackers it's hacked so you need to have your code and your entry very properly then when it comes with the flat we can see it we can feel it government takes the proper uh, uh, value of it and it uh, the bank issues it the government issues it. and always its value is been determined with the markets regulations then uh, different foreign exchange markets financial markets they always determine it so guys did you understood the difference of crypto and flat uh ma'am mm -hmm. ma'am you told uh, crypto uh, cryptocurrency's value is not determined by supply and yeah. demand then then what is the determinant which causes changes in the prices of cryptocurrency that will come uh, in the next slide just give me let's finish this one and then we'll move to the next session okay your answer will come over there okay. let's go step by step now let's understand what is digital currency and what is a cryptocurrency there is a slight difference not much but a slight difference digital currency is fully centralized that's why you could have understood that um, uh, finance minister nirmala sitaraman was talking that rbi will bring out its own digital currency means bank is going to issue it cryptocurrency is fully decentralized means no proper authority over there to take it the that yes we have issued it or we are taking the charge of it when it comes digital currency it is surrounded by legal frameworks crypto is not surrounded by legal frameworks digital currency transaction directories is kept secret transaction directory is visible to all means those who are sitting in the next part of the computer it might be possible that they can flash it out or thrash it out when it comes digital currency it is not encrypted but cryptocurrency is highly encrypted that's why you can say that you get a code or reference or uh, private identity number in cryptocurrency whereas in the digital currency you'll be able to access it digitally now over here things are clear with you in terms of crypto and digital currency guys yes, over here have you understood yes, so let's let's un keep in our mind that our finance minister was talking about digital currency pattern okay now can i go to the next slide yes ma'am okay there are certain a way that they talk about uh, digital currency and conventional currency it's like digital currency is completely digitalized right but when it comes paper currency conventional ones and digital currency is a way of even cryptocurrency also but cryptocurrency is highly encrypted risk no legal framework so flat and digital so type is real in flat we can touch it we can feel it in crypto it's virtual intermediaries yes there are like banks are involved different financial exchanges are involved over there but in crypto it's peer to peer then comes portability yes it's in notes in then it's uh, like uh, coins whereas crypto is highly portable because you get a code reference number over there it is protected then durable moderate highly durable moderate why they are talking if a paper note gets wet might be chances of tearing but in digital it's just the chances of losing or when your data are hacked right acceptance 
conventional acceptance worldwide national wise right and in crypto global is trying to go through it and understand it and accept it and adapt it but still there are certain countries certain part of the world global that they are still in the way of understanding and then legally legalizing it and some even are like at the back foot of it completely illegal they are calling it out and when it comes in the secure way flat is moderately secure cryptocurrency is highly secure highly secure in the sense do not understand that it's no risk zone okay it's highly risk zone but secure in the way that cannot be counterfeited right it cannot be counterfeited then is carry yes low and high so virgin yes government issued yes government do not issue the cryptocurrencies decentralized conventional is not decentralized a particular banks or control system is over there legal law is there when in crypto there is no one to control it a very complex math goes behind that cryptocurrency then smart enough like crypto is yes smart workers for the like with the help of uh, internet virtually those who are very good in virtual assumption virtual uh, forecasting for them it is and for those who do not know virtual uh, virtual forecast no highly uses of uh, computer or anything like digitalizationly some of the generation we have those generations who do not believe or do not have a trust on cryptocurrencies and they some of them even try to stop us but as a global is changing the future gonna be of completely of crypto now let's see what is actual difference between crypto and conventional crypto is virtual conventional is real right this one we have already discussed ahead also now do you know what is the history of crypto we you should be understanding that what used to have earlier we used to in the earlier ages okay our ancestor used to do barter system right first it was completely barter you give me this i'll give you that in that way then the financial market that barter was also a finance market okay for though our ancestors then came gold after gold it turns out to be metal coins then came paper money which we are using plastic cards also we are using and electronic money we are doing that's online payment right online shopping that till here we are with our generation now if, when it comes with the crypto now 21st century and in the globe they are trying to accept it but our country and our citizens are still unaware about it and the government itself is take, thinking that it's a high risk zone area if anything goes out of the way in the this technology or techno savvy any uh, hackers or loss of data or any uh, natural calamities took place you can say that in even natural calamity plays role in every this uh, electronic and plastic and paper also but in crypto it's at the higher one because no one is taking the responsibility it's not been completely no central authorities over there no law is there no legal framework no supply chain value right no one is there to deal with the markets or understand the value of it and taking the charges what is happening the government is still struggling even the citizens are struggling so still instead of bringing out of the complete crypto world we have trying our luck to the digital world that's the digital way of 
payment acceptance online shopping all that is been coming out of there so we are still in a way that for us crypto is at a high risk zone area till the time you are not aware please do not enter is a way mrs sita raman is trying to say that only by imposing 30% of tax on profit earn with the crypto she has not he said crypto she has said it digital currency digital assets so that is like a way of crypto till here any confusion no. now let's go to the risk zone how why it is said that uh, bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies are risky the majorly there are nine or even 10 you can say but those who, which has the risk which has come in limelight you can say while those cryptocurrencies are done or handle or some of them who are playing it let's see those risk words price volatility means the value of cryptocurrencies are highly volatile and selective speculative it's just forecasting it might be increasing it might be decreasing or today is this price tomorrow is that price after 2 hours it's another price after 15 minutes another price so its volatility is completely fluctuating then comes hacking risk cyber law cyber securities are not if they are not proper means if they are not regulated properly high zone high risk of hacking and once it's hack investor is nowhere liquidity risk if you have a bitcoin it's very difficult to liquidate it because there may not be the enough selective or buyers of that bitcoin coin right so it becomes difficult to liquidate liquidation risk is there that's why 1% of tax the person who is buying it and the person who is selling it crypto 1% of tax over there that why it, that's it so that it can be easy to keep a record of who is buying and who is selling now no guarantee or backing over here no guarantee means since it's not centralized it's not issued by bank or government is very difficult so there is no guarantee exchange platform cryptocurrency exchange platforms are not set up by private companies which may be very difficult means exchanging in terms of other form is risky means exchange platform ratio is very lower since it's if it is legalized it is in like exchange platforms are there if it is not legalized yes it's not the easy way of exchanging platform illegal activities is completely illegal activities till the time the country the nation does not say it, it's legal or certain rules regulation laws are not formed over there is illegal activity is way of saying that black money earning then bubble risk investor may in incur significant loss if the bubbleation is not there means once your forecast is not correct is very difficult to earn so bubble risk is there if it is fluctuating in every 5 to 10 minutes you are not active over there you might lose your investment wallet security digital wallets can be prone to losers prone to losers and uh, it is possible that uh, your otp numbers if if we exchange or your code number your reference number mixes out mixes out you might get the insecurity 
Then comes emerging technology. Yes, Bitcoin is completely an emerging technology. Still, people do not have have a proper information, proper knowledge of uh, pros and cons of it. And the sector is completely a risky sector, risky zone. What happens again? Another ones like if you see apart from these, there are major another ones also. Faking of payment gateways. Okay. Then if someone will say that, yes, we'll exchange it and say it might be the risk area of that where the gateway is not proper. Spoofing of payment informations. Buying insecure. Using incorrect user address. And publishing of website. So these are the major risks of Bitcoin and crypto, other cryptocurrencies. So when one person thinks that we are able to handle all this risk and we'll like uh, tackle with all this risk and we'll be like not missing out with our reference private ID number can take a chances of investing and doubling out their money. So it's you know much more greediness is also harmful. So when you think that it's important and we have understood what it is. Yes, I can be active, I can be put calls. And when it's legal, then you will have an easy way of liquidity, easy way of exchange. You will have a guarantee. Price will be stable, not volatile, not every time changing out. There is, and it's like your internet security is very secured. So with the risk also, all of you are aware. Did you understood? Let's go to the next slide then. Yeah. How crypto is like uh, functions? How does it work? There are different way of like sometimes you can say that, uh, yes, there are some technologies, secures, uh, fears, that inevitables, pseudomanias, all those formats plays the role of in cryptocurrency exchange. And when it comes cryptocurrency, this one is there to understand that this is completely an online type of trading. No one is, is seeing each other's face. No one is knowing each other's name. No personal meeting with any of the people. It's completely virtual and that virtual also you are just have a knowledge of your or info of your the code numbers that just with that code numbers you are playing you are playing with the computer itself so you can say that crypto calls what china is using it so what is happening is like china the people's bank of china is plotting its own digital currency South Korea, by the time of March 2020, the country came up with the laws that can be easy to regulate and exchange the cryptos. You said it has been open to crypto. In fact, the country's largest digital currency exchange, Coinbase, has also filled for an IPO. Over there, Bitcoin also gets a place in IPO. Okay, In Switzerland, is the first cryptocurrency legal and it's one of the, you can say, preferred choice for blockchain companies. You can say Tesla, MasterCards, then uh, other, other very known companies are like investing in crypto. They are betting out in crypto. So to deal out with it, we also are trying our hands in digital currency completely where a proper centralized a government will take a there will be certain rules and regulations certain policies over there certain uh, you can say terms and conditions will be imposed when the digital currency will come and issued by the rbi now this is how bitcoin transaction works suppose a person a bob an online merchant decides to begin accepting bitcoins as payment 
Alice, a buyer, has bitcoins and wants to purchase merchandise for from Bob. So, wallet and address. Okay. No, both of them have not seen each other. Both of them have not seen each other. They have not been completely known to each other, right? So, this is the way how Bitcoin is working out. The currency is working out. It's completely like with the online transactions. Everything is online. No one is over there in a physical presence. So what happens? Someone requests a transaction. That transaction broadcasted to P2P computers means peer-to-peer -peer nodes computer. Then its validation is done. Miners verify the transactions. After that, transactions combine to form a data block that goes to the new block added to existing blockchain the transaction is complete means with your reference code number is everything taking place you request a transaction with the help of your reference identity uh, private or public code that transaction is uh, broadcasted to p2p com computers and if your that uh, investment code number is accepted that goes to the miners verification blocks are created and you get a transaction notification on your mobile or your laptop or your ipad that yes you have become a successful investor in the crypto and you have this this much amount or assets you have invested in a crypto in a financial market now how does india calculates okay why mrs uh, finance minister sita raman is talking about uh, Nirmala Sitharaman is talking about that it. it's very important to impose 30% of tax in the profit. What will happen? Other people will completely get diverted towards it. No one will like to do a physical activities or some science and research, right? Medical research. Other, they will find it out a very easy way of doubling out their money. But there, it's not like that. She is trying to mean that this, the intelligence technology technicians will be very crashed and if everyone is investing in crypto yes there are chances of high risk factors once it gets crashes out you're gone right so what indian crypto tax calculators have done they have said it that money you invest suppose 100 rupees and you earned 50 rupees of profit your total earning came out to be 150 now when tax is imposed right Tax is not imposed in 150. Tax is imposed in your profit, that is 50 rupees. So 30% of tax is applied to profit. If 30% tax is imposed on your 50 rupees, you are paying tax of 15. And that 15 has been deducted with your total earnings, that is 150. So 150 minus 15 will be 135. So you are, it's like you are, can say that if you are ready to play the cryptocurrency, be ready for 30% of tax on your earning, right? And even in 1% of tax in the buyers and sellers ratio also. Now, what are the cryptocurrency investment tips? Buy low self-use. Right. Be aware of any sort of scams means that is why you need to be very active. Diversify your portfolio. Do not invest always in one one only. Invest in different bitcoins or cryptocurrencies. Then DYOR means do your drive research. Do your own research. Always do research about every cryptocurrencies. Do not just randomly invest by, by listening to anyone do your own research your home own, your own your own homework is very important and be aware of libraries be aware of libraries now what are the different cryptocurrency trading strategies technical analysis is extremely crucial for crypto you need to be very sharp-minded with the technical perspective Focus on the market volume. In Bitcoin market, in crypto market, focus on completely the volumes. Use stop losses. 
do not invest to such cryptocurrencies where you are not sure of and avoid the four moments avoid the chances of fraud and lose of your code number don't feel for sad emails just don't think that yes i'll invest and i'll not do anything and i'll earn from it it's not that don't do that then what are the rule investment invest money wisely control your own emotions when investing some of the what happens yeah you are getting you are earning quite good yaar why don't you invest more by listening in that way don't go do your own research understand and then invest how proper knowledge of the assets you are trading or you are investing you have got do not go randomly avoid fomo and fimo both check the value of the projects where you are investing do your own research in order to avoid any sort of scams keep a record of your past investment choose a trusted crypto exchange broker now difference between currency cryptocurrency and commodity cryptocurrency currency and commodity how is like potential store first yes traditional currency you need a place to store it you need to have ample amount of storing capacity of the value crypto also is there like because you'll get a coins format and commodity also now potential unit of account in in order to keep a proper unit of accounts in traditional currency is also important in crypto also is important that's why it says keep a record of your past investments commodity you might not be potential medium of exchange traditional all three are there but the major one that is crypto if you are not sure or you are not able to liquidate it properly or no easy way of platform is very difficult to find out there then potential fixed supply in crypto there are not be potential supply or anything like that but in uh, traditional yes supply and chain management plays a role over there and then another one comes potential fixed demand now how you can start in the crypto trading platform there are many tips right but basically when you are invest starting up you should be knowing five to six step which like you can see which is very important to understand first is like make your own that is find the best way of your investment second have a acquired knowledge of the investment do your own research right be always on a active mode of all the fluctuations going on in the cryptos and every, every time is like it's not that in a day one hour or two hour only you will invest yes it's like 24 hours allotment over there and you need to be active in 24 hours time period so when you think and you want to invest in crypto let's wait for some more years it get to be legalized and get a better retirement and centralized by government and so that it becomes easy liquidation process easy supply chain and market coverage along with the value enhancement am i am i made uh, myself uh, clear to you have you got the basic concept about uh, cryptocurrency yes ma'am 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 yes 
Anything you can... I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, please write it up because the sound is breaking out. Please write in a message box if there is anything. Any queries, guys, please write if the voice is breaking out. Okay, it seems out to be no queries. I'm not getting your voices. I'm not able to. Am I audible to all? Yes, ma'am. Yes, if any query. How these currencies are earning? What make them to rise and fall? Yes, uh, Nitesh, right? It's, uh, virtually, they are forecasting and they're trading out over here. And since it's not completely legalized, it's not completely done in the Indian markets or Asian countries of the sum, people are still in the dilemma to understand how it is done and how the rise and fall are playing is if those who are in the foreign countries and they are investing they have certain backgrounds over there right so the currency earning goes in a very virtual way it's like reference one and people are not meeting out physically what happens is like uh, suppose uh, you did 100 right since there is no proper market no proper market uh, currency evaluated over there. What they are turning out is they are putting you in a higher risk zone. And all of a sudden, the fluctuation rise, that's like uh, the graph of the profit goes up by different mediums. And those mediums are like uh, totally not in a way like uh, you can say a traditional way of uh, financial investment like uh, sales and debentures and ipos right it's like tesla is uh, i've got bitcoin it's like investing in that then uh, other uh, major companies are also investing how they are doing it is like very difficult to answer actually because even uh, to be very frank with you uh, since it's not legalized it's not as done i myself have never been invested in cryptocurrency Right, and still, I think that till the time is not legalized, it's not safe to use you to invest. For that, you need to like uh, go and read and understand, digging out and invest, and gain with your experiences after losing some of your investment. Nitesh, am I like uh, giving you the satisfied answer? Uh, yes, ma'am. Actually, I am, an, I am a crypto trader from last 1.5 years. Okay, and that you, you why don't you answer then how, then how it rises and falls? Ma'am, actually, it's my, ma'am, I think it's uh, from the uh, selling and buying. Like uh, the Elon Musk, after every tweet, the Bitcoin may be a rise or maybe decrease. And that, so I think that buying and selling... That no, yes, since you are doing that, now you have to pay tax to the government. Don't do it illegal way. Ma'am, I don't to think that it, it will it will work. Like uh, I can change my VPN and uh, transfer my assets to the um, my currency that I am uh, storing uh, to any foreign wallets, and I can transfer it to another. And maybe I I will be. Uh, uh, I can be say, I can I will say my tax thirty percent that is. And <laughs> In any way you are thinking that I'll not pay to the government, I'll save it for myself. Yes, ma'am. Good, good thought process. But yes, buying and selling also plays. But whom you are buying and whom you are selling is like out of the way to catch, right? So it's higher risk zone. I'll not demoralize anyone. Like don't invest. Yes invest but let's wait for getting it to be completely legalized right doing your own research 
let it be centralized and please do not invest like nitesh that uh, not paying tax to the government you be a good citizen of the country nitesh thank you so much for this session i am telling the loop holes in this uh... Current scheme that government is telling us that they will have thirty percent. There is a loophole. That's why finance minister Nirmala Sitharaman said that first we'll bring out digital currency, right? Where centralized government will be the portion to bring it out. RBI will launch, right? Certain rules, regulations, terms and conditions will be over there. And in near future, if the digital currency concepts and all works out in a very uh, awesome way, yes. Crypto will be legalized, right? Thank you so much for this uh, attending the session. I hope I was able to like give you a little bit of uh, framework of crypto currency, and I just uh, hope that my this session was quite fruitful for all of you. Thank you so much you. once again. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.